Hey what is up you guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to do another tutorial but this one's going to be a little bit more different. So first off I'm going to start with cleaning my face off with a makeup remover wipe and I'm going to use the wet and wild ones and I got these at Dollar Tree for a dollar. I'm a cheap ass and I like buying makeup for well stuff for makeup cheap. And my favorite makeup wipes are the way my ones. In my personal opinion, if you like a different brand's makeup or remover wipes, that's your decision. I just like the Wet n Wild ones a little bit more. Not because they're a whole lot cheaper, but because whenever I have a um, what is it, a, an event that I have to go to, like graduation, prom, that I used to have and that I had to get ready for, and anytime I would have to take my makeup off, the Wet n Wild ones were the only ones who would get everything off of my face, literally in one sheet. Like I can get half of my face on one side. And the other half on the other side. That's the main reason. Why I love it. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to let that dry really quick. Or my face is kind of tacky. Uh, whoops. I lost my Okay. And I'm getting ready in... I'm doing this tutorial in my bathroom because this has a way more better lighting. I'm trying to get used to having the camera right here and not over there. <laughs> Sorry. Just making sure that my phone does not fall off. So first I'm going to start off with, I'm actually going to put primer on this time, is the Photo Focus Face Primer by Wet n Wild. I love this primer. I've tried three primers. Um, I've tried the Too Faced one. I've tried a um, another brand. It was a... Fran a French brand I can't remember La Paris I think I tried those two primers and I tried this one this is honestly a dupe for the Too Faced one which is really cool so I'm honestly gonna get off and you have the other one the other one says cover all I have that one too because I just ran out of it literally um literally like two days ago so now I'm gonna spot this all over my face and if you haven't tried this primer, you need to. This primer is awesome. Now, don't be making memes of my face, cause us girls, us girls who put primer on our faces, we no, just my You want our face would be a nice, good area for our. Eh, don't get it in your eyes. I kind of sort of got it in my eye. No! Did it again! No! Okay. Just want to make sure you can get that down your neck. On your ears. Because if you didn't watch my other video, you saw that you have to blend your makeup onto your ears and onto your neck to show that you don't have that obvious foundation line. Which I don't like on most girls because that makes them look tacky and because I have no eye primer my regular primer is just gonna be my eye primer so and I'm mainly doing this because I'm wanting to cover up these little imperfections right here now on camera it makes my under eyes look way more red than it is in person because it's not that red in person it's really not so now I'm going to go in again with my wet and wild Photo Focus Foundation in Classic Beige. I bought this at Walmart in Weatherford, Texas. Because the Walmart and the Walgreens here, where I always get my makeup, does not sell this shade. And this is my perfect match shade. So whenever I run out of this one, the other one I have to go get is Sand Beige, which is kind of closer to my skin tone. So, and a little disclaimer about this brand, about their foundation. It smells like paint and I'm perfectly fine with that because it has good coverage so I really don't care really don't care 
So now, if you're wondering why it's taking me, I got a foundation in my hair. Awesome. If you're wondering why it takes me a little bit longer, I just got a foundation on the lid. Awesome. Okay. Why it's taking me a little bit to get the foundation out of the spatula, well, out of the bottle, is because I go in and I kind of scrape the side so I don't get so much. So make sure you get some of the nails mm -hmm. right here and a little bit more here and here. Now I'm not going to put any on my neck just yet. So now I'm going to go in with, I just dropped a brush. Where put that that? So next, I'm now I'm gonna go in with my flat top brush from Wet n Wild, and you kind of want to dab it on, cause sometimes you don't want to swipe your foundation around. See, look, and this foundation is so pretty. It really is. What is going on around my mouth? So, anyways, so the next brush I'm gonna be getting for my foundation to try out will be from the brand Morphe. I've seen Laura Lee use the brush that's kind of similar to this brush for her um, for her foundation and it is so cool it's kind of a dome shaped flat top brush which i kind of like i like flat brushes for my foundation i don't like using um actual like the flat foundation brushes or a beauty blender because i've used a beauty blender before and it did not like my skin it did not want to blend anywhere and i can see on the camera it's not wanting to go down my nose you can see that it's not wanting to go down. So, let's see where the frick did my foundation go? And that's behind me. So I'm gonna go right here, just a little bit. And now just down the neck. And again, you always wanna blend down the neck. Always, oh, you put that back in there. So now, this is where I like swiping it or giving the circular. Ow, just got my eye. <laughs> there we go. And if you're new to my channel, which I'm pretty sure almost all of you are new to my channel, I don't do my brows because I have tried to do my brows and no pr brow products like my brows. I have really pretty natural brows. These are my natural brows. I don't do them or at all. Like I tweeze them here and there, but they're not super bad. Like see, I kind of need to tweeze this side, but if you look on this side, this side is perfectly perfect. I just need to fix up the sides. So now, taking my powder brush. And I'm going in with the pressed powder foundation photo focus pressed powder from wet n wild and if you didn't know this about wet n wild it is a cruelty and vegan free brand and i'm now starting to love vegan and cruelty free makeup like my favorite brand of cruelty free makeup is of course Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I love Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Love it, love it, love it, love it because it's so pretty. And even though his makeup's kind of affordable and kind of not affordable, his makeup is the bomb.com. I love it. So now I'm going to go in with my. I almost put my powder brush back on. Now I'm going to go in with my concealer stick this is the make a glow dual ended contour and highlight stick in the shade light medium i didn't say this in my last video so 
There you go. So I only do it very lightly. I know in my first vid in my video, I kind of didn't explain this trick because I saw somewhere. I have this thought in my mind, which I should have said when I filmed it, of putting on powder first and then doing this because this stick isn't the so smoothest stick. I know I'm supposed to actually use actual cream contour. I don't do that. Cream highlight. Damn it. But, yeah, kind of, kind of didn't do that. So. Now it looks like I look like an Indian. So now I'll just step it, step it, step it, step And I have three of these just before y'all say anything like, you're contaminating your brushes. It's because I used to use all of them for my foundation. And then the foundation I had before the Wayne Wild one came out, their newer one, the photo focus one, before that one came out, I used the Maybelline, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I loved it, but how they do their thing, do their colors, not a single shade was close to my shade. The shade I have is True Beige, which is my actual color foundation for every single one. That one looks orange on me. Completely 100% orange. Now I'm going to go in with my no surprise, my Wet n Wild contour and highlighting powder. This is a banana shade, which is really pretty. I have an actual banana setting powder. I don't use it because I don't have a beauty blender. But this is in the shade Caramel Toffee. Caramel. Caramel. So now I'm going back in. I'm going to go in with the same exact brush. And I'm dapping into my banana shade. As you can tell, it's starting to break. Because I've had this for so long. Because I got this one. I got this shade. Well, I got this palette. I got the Catwalk Pink palette, which is the same circle as this, but it's their illuminating palette. I got those two. I got the primer and the setting spray, and also the contour brush, which I might use, debating on it. I got all those for only $15, and they were in a box. If I bought them individually, it would cost a whole lot more. And if you want to know anything about these brushes, these are super affordable, and they're so soft, and they stay soft. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with my large skipple brush, and I'm going to go in with the contour side, very little bit. Now these are very high pigmented. So I'm just going to go in. There is fallout. <laughs> so if you look right here, you can tell this shit is pigmented. I still do the old trick. Fish face. Now this is how I do my makeup. You don't have to do your makeup like this. This is how I do mine. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to find my jawline and as, as you can tell I have a double chin and I just now noticed that yay but I want to carve out my jawline if you see this I wear a necklace that kind of rubs on my skin sometimes and I don't realize that until I take off the necklace <sighs> Makes me now I'm gonna go on my forehead and I'm trying so hard to just look straight at the camera. It's kind of hard. <laughs> it's kind of hard. So there we go. So here. So now I'm gonna go away from the face for a quick second. Just kidding. I'm gonna go in with not my powder brush. With this brush that fell off, which is the 
Lexi. It's only sorry. The Lexi Six Sixty Precision Precision Foundation Brush, which is really cool. I'm gonna quickly dab into my press powder just very little bit. And I'm just going to very quickly make sure the under eyes are set. Very quickly. And again, I am shooting this video on my iPhone 7 Plus. I finally got a new phone. Should have explained this in my other video. I used to have, don't scream at me, the iPhone 5S. I've had it for the past three years. And I love it. I loved it, but it would always die super fast. Like, even when I was on Snapchat for literally two seconds, my phone dies. The one thing I hated about my phone. So now, I'm going to go in with my two, my personal two favorite eyeshadows. They're both from the Bomb Cosmetics. I used this one the other day. Well, yesterday as you're watching this video. I used this shade. And these are both from the Bomb Cosmetics. I love these two. I think I just said that. Mm -hmm. And this is from the Meet Matt Ptolemy Jumanini Marriage Material Palette. And this is from the Hot Mama. Just from the Hot Mama thing. Because this one sh doubles as a shadow and blush. I don't wear blush. I don't like wearing blush. And I have, in this shade, I have Matt Kumar. Kumar. It is a pretty burgundy shade and you're about to see why so first off I'm going to very quickly go in with my Matt Kumar on a buffer brush and this buffer brush right here it's really cool it needs taper so I'm gonna go in very quickly all in a circle Now this thing is very high pigmented. Sorry if I have to find myself. It's really hot. And this video looks like it's going to be a little bit longer than my first video. Which is perfectly fine because my arms burped. I added a couple more things in this video than my other video. Now, since this shade is, since some of the shadows I have are so high pigmented, and if you want to kick off a little bit of the pigment, this is a great trick. Like, whenever you dab into the shadow, so I'm going to re-dab into it because I'm trying to fix this part. This is all you do. You dab into the shadow, and you tap it off, and then you go in, and it's not as high pigmented. Trust me, if you went in full pigmented, <sighs> this color would actually be on your eyes. So now I'm going to go in with my small eyeshadow brush with my Hot Mama one sh shadow. Yeah, this is just a shade Hot Mama. Just if I didn't say that in yesterday's video. So I'm going in. And if you can see it, it's very pretty. Now you can very wet this brush to make it more pretty. I don't have my... Never mind, I'm going to use my setting spray. So you just wet your brush. I'm going to go like this. Kind of over with that one. Oops. Loosely. Should I pop some of the wetness? Now I'm going to dab in. So I'm going in with so that I got wet. And it may not look that pigmented right now, but if I take it to the lid. Whoo, sorry. Bang. You can see it. So, now that it's still a little bit wet. Oop, that one went on a whole lot more. So as I'm doing this, I think I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about myself as I go back in with my Mac Kumar again. Um, I am in dust buffer brush. I am 18 years old. 
Um, I'm from, oh wait, I'm not gonna tell y'all where I'm from. Mm -hmm. I had this idea in my head literally two nights ago to start doing videos and I decided, hmm, what the hell, just do it. Have some fun. Some of my friends thought, and she's not gonna go through with it. I went through with it. No! Oh, there you go. Sorry, I just moved my brushes. So now I'm gonna go back to the face. And I'm gonna go in with, and I used to say in my other video, my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Highlighter in shade Peach Goddess. I love this highlighter. And in my very in my first video that was kind of my first impressions of this so yeah yeah you all are currently on towels this shade is so pretty it is super pretty I love it so now I'm gonna go in with the Luxie 522 tampered highlighter brush it's kind of like the tampered foundation brush but I'm just gonna swipe and as you can tell, that's a lot of pigment. <laughs> and now, and I have a mirror, a big fat mirror right here, Lizzie, if I can kind of show y'all. Here's the mirror that I've been using. So now I'm going to use this mirror. So now, going to very lightly dust this on my cheeks. Dying! Oh. This is so pretty. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> But I just love, 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 love this formula right now. Oh. There's never a saying called too much highlighter. So now I'm going to very lightly dab it on my nose. Dab, dab, dab. Oh, that's a little bit too much. So now I'm going to dust it on uh, here with a bow. If you want to give your lips a little moment. So now I'm going to go in with eyes again, and this time I'm actually going to curl them. I'm only curling them so I want to show you all that. I'm not kidding about my natural lashes, they are super long even when I don't add mascara or anything. So I think this time I'm only going to go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And this is their um, sample one. Their other one is a whole lot bigger. <laughs> um, I have, me and my mom, we got this little thing called Ipsy. It is a $10 glam bag, which pretty much comes with anything. Obviously, right as soon as you're subscribing, it asks you what your color, the color of your eyes are, the color of your skin, the color of your hair, and you always get different products every time. And they have such cute bags. They come in. Ow, they kind of hurt. Ow, they kind of hurt. And they are super pretty. Such attractive faces. Very such. It kind of messed up on this eye. Mm, might as well. This one. Oops. I don't know if I didn't show you all the brush. This is the brush. It is so cool. It helps give your lashes an extra oomph to it. So now I'm going to very quickly set my face. <sighs> so now I have three lip choices. I have okay, so I bought this shade on clearance, only two seventy four, way cheaper. I have the Rimmel London shade in the shade. The Rimmel London Lipstick in the shade Crush, which is number 202. I, of course, have my Lip Ammunition, which I t did in my f other video, in the shade Celebrity Skin. 
and I have, and before any of y'all say this, I do not have all the money in the world. I just had a job. I have a job, which gives me pretty much almost $40 every two weeks, which I'm happy about. I have the Kirsten lipstick, liquid lipstick from Kylie Cosmetics. It's my first and only shade. And I have both of them. And now I'm debating on what I should put. Yeah, if you kind of see that, I kind of messed up. Uh, my eye. Looks a little bit better. Okay. So now I'm debating on what I should wear. Mm. I'm thinking the Kylie, and if not, I'm going to go with my celebrity skin. I think I'm going to go with Kylie. And if I don't like it, I'm just going with my Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So I'm going to use her lip liner in the shade Kirsten. Her formula for this is so pretty. Sorry again, I'm still trying to just look at the camera. So now I'm going to very quickly line my lips. I need a mirror. I honestly need a mirror for this. And just to let y'all know, her lip liners are only, well, if you are wanting a shade from her, her lip liners are only $14. And her liquid lipsticks by themselves are $17. But... You can get them together in the lip kit box for only $29. But shipping, if you get the lip kit box, is Do I agree with the price point? Nope. It only makes it $37 because her shipping is literally $8. So I'm going to give this a quick shake. If you knew, if you know anything about liquid lipsticks, shake them at least five seconds before you put them on. Because it will give you more product. And I love the smell of her lipstick. And I really love the shade. And if you didn't know this about Kylie's brand, her lipsticks, her liquid ones, dry super fast. And I love it. No, I'm trying to do no. Okay, nothing. A little makeup up kit fix. And I can very quickly take my foundation brush. Mm, fix it. Now I can grab it. So, going to set this face again. I kind of like this lip with my eyes, so yeah. That was a big squirt. So here's my setting spray. So here we have it. Okay, again I'm gonna let my hair down. 
and if it looks like I haven't taken a shower, this is just how my hair looks because every time I put into a ponytail after I take a shower, it looks like this. I don't know why. So here we go. It's just a really cute makeup tutorial. And I really love his highlighter. It looks so pretty on my skin. And I love this shade. Her nude is expo her my nude from her line, which is her favorite color. Mine is exposed and I love it. Because I tried it once. Oh, while I was staying with my sister. And her roommate. <laughs> and here we have it. Really hope you guys like this tutorial. And trust me, there will be a whole lot more videos coming soon. I might shoot them day after day to see if I get a whole lot more views. And to see if I get a whole lot more subscribers. And trust me, I'm going to be doing makeup tutorials and Q&As in this bathroom. Because there's so much better lighting. Because the lighting in my room sucks. And that's why in the com my pinned comment from my other video is like that. It literally says, sorry for the bad lighting. In my room in real life, it's perfectly fine. But whenever I take a picture in my room, my room makes me look so much darker and it does not show. And I really hate it. <laughs> so anyways, thank you guys for watching. And I know this is kind of a longer video. I'm still trying to get used to going getting out of my comfort zone and doing my makeup like this um this is kind of what I wore to my graduation except I didn't have the Kylie lipstick and I didn't have well I have the Kylie lipsticks by graduation but I wear a my sister wanted me to wear a neutral one so I did and I didn't have a highlighter but I had everything else and this looks so pretty on me and there's a whole lot of dupes for the Matt Kumar shade and for the Hot Mama shade. And there's a whole lot of dupes for the Kylie Cosmetics one. And if you want to know a dupe for the highlighters, if you use the um, Wet n Wild ones, I know for a fact those are super pigmented and they're like high-end brand quality material even though they're really inexpensive. You'll love it. I think this matte shade matches Crown of My Canopy, if not Precious Petals. I have kind of my canopy. It's in my room. I didn't bring it because I have this little thing of makeup that I just brought in here from a little DIY box. Let me put my makeup back in here. From this little DIY box I made. This is just like my basic. Jeff These are the boxes that he that come with his brand. <laughs> this is my newest one. This is his box. His boxes are all pink and I love them. They're so awesome. And I just cut off the top and I have makeup organizers. So if you have a whole lot of little boxes, make that your makeup organizer. It's a cute little DIY. And so again, thank you so much for watching. And if you want me to make more videos, leave a like and subscribe. And if you really like, if you really want me to say anything, I am wanting to start doing shout outs. So if you want shout outs, just put down in the comments down below um, if you want to be the commenter who gets a shout out. Leave your Instagram name and I will shout you out or your Twitter name. And you can follow me on Twitter. Wait, no. Never mind. Don't do that. <laughs> I have two Twitters and I have to find out which one I want you all to follow. But you can follow me as on Snapchat at DesiLoveAS. Um... You can follow me on Instagram at DesiLove2017. And that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. And leave a like if you like it. And remember, don't be a hater. And I love you all.